Most of what they have done has been vile, malicious, but in this case, it's illegal. It infringes on federal copyright law. It is challenged under the trademark laws. The political mailers in question were sent out earlier this week in Montana's House District 62 and prominently display the trademark insignia of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers, the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, and the United Steelworkers, all of which have issued cease and desist letters. There is no clear way to trace exactly where these mailers are coming from, and if those cease and desist letters could even get to them. Postage was paid in Loveland, Colorado, and the return address is for this UPS store on Cedar in Helena, with no P.O. box attached and a Livingston zip code. People that are putting this information out, this misleading information out, live in a mailbox somewhere. This is about secret corporate money. This is about black money that is not traceable and they are trying to buy our elections and we are simply not going to stand for it. The Commissioner of Political Practices says that he'd be willing to investigate claims made by the AFL-CIO, but there may be little to nothing that they can actually do. It's misleading, it's deceitful, and it's, and it's wrong. Since the decision came down from the U.S. Supreme Court, Citizens United decision. We've been losing areas of authority that we've had uh, in years past. But he said there isn't much that can be done before the election. He does have one piece of advice for voters. Put all of this aside and, and, and use their best judgment as Montanans. As for the AFL-CIO, they will not give up so easily. We'll find out who they are and we're going to come talk to them about it because what they have done is illegal and they knew it when they did it. In Helena, Lindsay Gordon, MTN News.